Kochia is one of the most troublesome weeds in the Great Plains in western U.S. It was introduced into the United States in the early 1900s as an ornamental. This plant has a great drought tolerance, which gives the ability to grow in very poor soils. This weed escaped the ornamental plantings and can now be found in crop fields, pastures, rangelands, roadsides, ditch banks, and wastelands. It is one of the earliest summer annual broadleaf weeds to germinate in the spring. This weed will continue to germinate throughout the growing season and it only needs a little moisture to start its growth. Kosha has been nicknamed the poor man's alfalfa because it usually has good forage value that often contains 11 to 22% crude protein depending on the soil nitrogen. However, if not managed correctly, you will be dealing with a large infestation that will be difficult to control. This weed can produce a nitrate toxicity and cause an accumulation of calcium oxalate crystals in the kidneys, which can cause kidney failure in cattle, sheep, and horses. Kosha can reach six feet tall and it only reproduces by seeds, which will generally survive one to two years in the soil. It will flower and set seed in late summer and fall with a single plant capable of producing 50,000 seeds or more, so it doesn't take long for this plant to take over. The seed spread by wind, water, equipment, and contaminants in hay. The seed is often spread after plant matures and become tumble-like weeds, dropping their seeds as they blow around. Kosha treatment includes integration of cultural and mechanical weed management practices and the use of diversified and effective control tactics with herbicides. Because it has an imperfect flower, it allows for the cross-pollination, which is a cause for the spread of herbicide-resistant plants. Because of this, the treatment needs to be an integrated approach, which will include hand pulling, tilling, and herbicide all before the plant goes to seed. The most important thing about invasive weeds is to educate yourself to protect the landscape for wildlife and future generations. If you think you have invasive weeds, contact your local weed district, extension office, or Department of Agriculture.